consumers' growth isn't slowing down anytime soon. And now we could be getting more than 20,000 brand new homes just south of DIA. It's a project called Aerotropolis. City leaders have now taken the next step so the building can begin as soon as next month. Denver 7's Jackie Cray went to check it out. It's mostly open prairie land and a few roads in Denver International Airport's backyard. But not for long. Soon, this 21,000 acre site will be a community of new homes and businesses centered around the airport, an aerotropolis. It will include the Aurora Highlands, a planned 23,000 unit housing development. Housing could range in cost from $200,000 to $1 million and up. Our goal is to help fill in some of the, the housing shortage that Colorado and Denver especially is facing right now and across a wide variety of economic opportunities so that it can be home to everyone. Do you hear that? You might be wondering, will all of these future residents living out here so close to DIA be bothered by all the noise? Well, there's an agreement in place to keep that from being a problem. Part of that agreement is noise restrictions and that agreement covers what can be built, what should be built, and what is restricted. Aerotropolis region. All said and done, it could rival the size of the Denver Tech Center, bringing tens of thousands of jobs. Of course, that size of project begs for new roads, like new interchanges on E-470 and I-70 and extending major roads. Also, public parks, rec centers, and medical campuses will go up. A new economic pulse point in the Denver metro area. Create an area of work, live, play. It is to keep everybody in the area while accessing the DIA airport, the light rail, and the E-470 and the traffic system that surrounds this area. Jackie Crea, Denver 7.